ਕੋਰ ਬੋਲਦੀ ਹਾਂ ਅਮ ਇਹ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਬਹੁਤ ਚੰਗਾ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਮੇਰੀ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਡਿਗਰੀ ਇਨ ਇੰਟਰਨੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਰਿਲੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਇਕਨੋਮਿਕਸ ਡਿਗਰੀ ਇਨ ਫੈਕਟ ਐਂਡ ਸਾਡਾ ਵੀ ਇਥੇ ਸਮਾਲ ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸ ਹੈਗਾ ਆ ਅਮ ਸਾਡਾ ਅਮ ਸੋ ਆਮ ਸਮਾਲ ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸ ਓਨਰ ਐਜ਼ ਵੈਲ ਐਂਡ ਐਜ਼ ਅ ਟੀਚਰ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ uh what i would advocate for is jide hun lokan di job hun people are losing their jobs jide hun job on go they're losing their jobs as a teacher it's important for the counselor to recognize the resources and education and training that we need to provide for people who are losing their jobs the most vulnerable people that are um getting laid off so as a teacher as an educator as a policy analyst with the background in economics uh i know it's important that we need a counselor who will fight for resources to ensure that job training is secured and um and for those people that have already lost and as this uh, as is up because we are subjected to international economics right uh with the price of oil thank you yes and ji nevthind te hun uh answer karunge ji arundeep sundar sir thank you mr sahab and thank you mr chuck for uh both your contributions to uh the diversity of media in our city and for the question uh as someone with a business degree and and someone who has worked uh all across this province uh and <coughs> building this province um what i've seen is that uh with this recent downturn we actually have a great opportunity a silver lining uh to increase economic diversification uh you often see um when we have an old growth forest with tall trees uh, such as our oil and gas and energy industry was um after a forest fire is when you see the smaller plants in the bottom of the forest have a chance to take root and grow uh with costs down both labor uh construction materials costs there's an opportunity for lots of different industrial sectors uh in Alberta to uh take root and expand uh beyond where they are now uh so that we both increase the size of the economic pie next time we have a uptick in economic growth but also we have a larger diversity in our economic pie I think it's important for city council to do what it can to create a positive atmosphere for economic development for business development. Uh we need to be competitive uh within our capital region and we need to be competitive uh in Alberta and the world. Uh, we are competing in a in a global economy. Uh I think it's important to leverage our existing uh population that is uh, so diverse uh from all over the world uh and has roots all over the world. We can use that to create trade relationships uh without having to set up trade offices all around the planet we can do that at home with trade advisory councils of local business people thank you thank you thank you arundeep tehun guest for sharma sahab ji jab sahab thoda bahut badhiya sawal hai ji tusi canada di gal kiti hai par sanu sare nu pata hai ki tin level of government hai federal provincial aur city te city council da city layi oh zimmedar hai ga aur 72000 jobs jehdi alberta ch gayi hai ਔਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਿਟੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਿੰਸ਼ਨ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਐਡਰੈਸ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ ਫੀਲ ਕਰਦਾ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਇੱਕ ਏਜੰਡਾ ਮੇਰਾ ਵੀ ਹੈਗਾ ਇਕਨੋਮਿਕ ਡਾਈਵਰਸਿਫਿਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਸਾਰੀ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸ਼ਹਿਰ ਦੀ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਅਲਬਰਟਾ ਦੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਤੇਲ ਤੇ ਖੜੀ ਰਹਿ ਗਈ ਕਰੂਡ ਆਇਲ ਤੇ ਔਰ ਇਕਨੋਮਿਕ ਡਾਈਵਰਸਿਫਿਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਵੱਲ ਧਿਆਨ ਨਹੀਂ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਔਰ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ ਸੋਚਦਾ ਕਿ ਸਿਟੀ ਨੂੰ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਕਮਰਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਔਰ ਇੰਡਸਟਰੀਅਲ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਐਸਟੈਬਲਿਸ਼ਮੈਂਟਸ ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਬੜਾਵਾ ਦੇਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਜੌਬ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੋਰ ਮਹੀਆ ਹੋ ਸਕਣ ਔਰ ਇਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲ ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਬਜਟ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਹੋਏ ਸਿਟੀ ਦਾ ਕੈਪੀਟਲ ਬਜਟ ਜਿਹੜਾ 2 ਸਾਲ ਚ ਲਾਣਾ ਸਿਟੀ ਨੇ 2016 ਤੋਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ 18 ਤੱਕ ਹੀ ਉਹ 4.3 ਬਿਲੀਅਨ ਡਾਲਰ ਹੈ ਜਦੋਂ ਇਨਫਲਕਸ ਹੋ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਉਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਵੀ ਜੌਬ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਪਰ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇਕਨੋਮਿਕ ਡਾਈਵਰਸਿਫਿਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਹੈ ਬਹੁਤ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਜੀ ਜਸ਼ਪਾਲ ਸ਼ਰਮਾ ਸਭ ਤੇ ਹੁਣ ਜੈਗ ਗਿਲ ਸਾਹਿਬ This is Jack Gill. Uh, as a person that works in the oil and gas industry, I understand how many people are losing their jobs. Um, that is key to me. Uh, the good news today with the federal government, they announced a $40, $60 billion stimulus uh, package in the, in the next 10 years. So it's important as a good counselor for uh, Edmonton on all levels of government, including provincial, that we get the funding from the federal government. There's a lack of schools and uh, We need to have these infrastructure projects now while the government has given us the stimulus package so we can build and we can put people to work. The city of Edmonton has good investments too. Uh we got to give them a, a pat on the shoulder when they're due. I mean they they built the Ekram uh, biodiesel plant in partnership and uh that's a, and, and the arena and uh these are good these are good deals for Edmonton in the future which is going to bring revenue into Edmonton. and uh 
federal government uh, stimulus package, it's important for, for us to have a strong person that we can continue with the infrastructure products, uh, projects and put people to work right away. We need to also save taxpayer money. It's being wasted, um, and that is the key. Uh, we spent $90,000, oh, $900,000 last year taking out uh, bike lanes. And we spent millions of dollars putting bike lanes in. And as you know, right now is <coughs> a recession, and we shouldn't be wasting money on such uh, projects. We should be spending them on the taxpayer people. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Last time we are going with so. Steve, but next time if somebody, uh, you know, like uh, miss their chance, uh, we are not coming back. Oh, okay. Yeah, this, no, one, okay. this time we'll, right. we'll take your session, no problem. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank 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 you. I think um, the private sector needs to be more we call it, um, accountable because you know they're dragging, cost us more money, the private sectors. The reason why I'm saying that the job that takes to do one job, it takes a lot longer. I cut back on that. And the federal government is going to give the, the funds like they say they're going to do it, but there's no positive reason they're going to do it or not going to do it. We have no guarantees they're going to give us money. So. Basically, the city has to be hold uh, the private sector more accountable for what they're doing. Maybe lower bidding them instead of giving high bids. That's it. Thank you very much. <coughs> Next question, Ji. Paji, can we sing? Mirbani, Bhutka. Kira chwaal hai aapne jis tarah the economy chal rahi hai, udhar jab apn pata hai jobs bhi ja rahi hain, the loki ye to sajje khabe bhi ja rahe hain aur माफी जोना है बंद कर ले भाई गले आप भी जिधा टैक्स बेस है वो सुंगड़ता जा रहा है तो उसी सारे कह रहे हैं भी आ ऐसी प्रोग्राम करने चाहुने हैं तो सिटी को उन जिधा टैक्स बेस है वो अपना प्रॉपर्टी टैक्स है और लोकी मेरा ख्याल है अकेले बैठे हैं ऑलरेडी जब उन आदेश कराएं जब सेसमेंट नोटिस आउं दिया वो दुखी हुए बैठे हैं क्योंकि हर साल वादा ही दुराया जा रहा है तो उसी इस सिटी दे जिधे रेवेन्यू है क्या वो बता ओनली होर केड़ा चारा कर सकते हैं राधर देन जस्ट इनक्रीजिंग द प्रॉपर्टी टैक्� Okay. So the question from what I understand is instead of just increasing property taxes, what else might be considered to raise revenue or generate? Okay, yeah, that's a really good question. One of the initiatives that I, I think uh, council is doing somewhat of okay job with right now, but we could definitely improve is everyone's been tasked to find a 2% reduction overall in service delivery. The goal here is to identify services or initiatives or things that were being provided for in the past that aren't being used as much anymore. So rather than trying to still fund projects that were being used beforehand, so let's say different services in the rec center, for example, if they're not being used as much, they can transfer those funds to other needed priorities. So that's one way that we can continue to do that work. But rather than doing it on an ad hoc basis, I think we should establish a more rigorous time period for every five years, let's say. Let's take a look back at some of the program delivery we've been doing. What's been working? What's not being used? What do we need to focus more on? What was a program that maybe was popular you know, two years ago, but now not so much? And I think if we continually do those exercises, that really helps us find those inefficiencies. So rather than always relying mainly on increasing taxes, and like we talked about earlier, the city moving to a three-year budget for the very first time, we know what the tax increases are going to be for the next three years. And as councillors, being able to keep administration accountable to that rate is going to be really, really important. But at the same time, if we are able to find those inefficiencies throughout that time period, we can find different ways to use funds in much needed areas. So that would be one approach that I would definitely, definitely uh, support and would we'll continue to do so with. Thank you, Irfan. Uh, Navgur, please. Uh, hello, Hanji Navjot Kaur. Um, yeah, I, uh, I agree with Irfan. In Nanehun uh, report, uh, uh, there, there, there's a city initiative 
to evaluate uh, funding and uh, you know uh, administrators the which can uh, spend they're doing an evaluation so um, for me I think it's important for a counselor to be looking at um, the uh, the, prud the prudent spending how people the outcomes of that uh, but a strong <coughs> progressive vote on council that is looking towards um, advocating for people and making sure that Jira initiative Hundeya, it's to the best interest of the most vulnerable people in our in, in our communities in terms of the programs. So when we do that, when we're supporting those people, fair duje karcheje hundeya crime de hundeya, all of that, we can we can prevent long term <coughs> types of spending. Uh, so for me, it's important to to uh, uh, support council on prudent spending and doing the evaluations but also understanding that there are vulnerable people in the community and making sure the, the money is spent in the right way there. Uh, Preet, Turji, uh, Anji. Anji, this is Preet Dur. Um, uh, thank you, Kulmin Sangha ji. Jira Sada 51% Jira um, Sada budget hanga, wo Sada house tax to on that, baki da Jira 49% ja for extra fees and vagara to on the hanga. And I totally understand during the recession, they, as council had decided that departments apne apne andar chati maro ki asi wo sare program jide um loki jinna nu use nahi kar sak kar rahe unna nu asi band kariye ta ki oh jidi funding ya us kisi change passe la sakiye so that's a good, that's a good thing but at the same time um, i would encourage people if there are resources available, please use those re resources because they are for our well-being. Okay. And um, when it comes to increasing of um, tax, long as we can see that a tax increase, where are the transparency? As you see, that yes, a tax increase, where are the millions of tax to which? Okay. Um, I'm not saying that we must get a tax increase, but at the same time, a transparency board zaruri hai kiya, tax daily. Thik hai ji. ji. Hanji Thank you for that question, uh, Sangha Sahib. It's a, it's a very uh, relevant question uh, at this time of day. Um, what I hear at the doors uh, is often a lot of people are, are quite upset with uh, the, how much taxes have increased in the last number of years and how much is supposed to increase in the next three years. As a, as a young business person, uh, looking at increasing costs of business in our city, uh, looking at how much business is leaving to the capital region, uh, it is a concern for me because, uh, as, as Breith was pointing out, uh, we actually only get 49% of our property tax from non-residential tax base. Uh, a neighboring city like Port Saskatchewan gets 60% from non-residential tax base. Uh, so my solution to this is on a longer term scale is to increase the amount of service, uh, non-residential tax base in the city, industrial and commercial land. Uh, what that does is it grows the pie. Uh, the, it also increases the opportunities for business to create jobs, grow and expand in the city. Uh, I'm also in favor of annexation so we have more available industrial uh, lands in the city. Uh, these are all important uh, to increase uh, the tax base that, uh, for the same assessed value, of residential property, a commercial property is going to pay three times as much property tax. What this stuff means is that we can continue growing as a city uh, and providing the services that we need and deserve without having to turn the tax dial to 11 every single year. Uh, on a shorter scale, uh, the city is undergoing a program and service level review. Uh, I am uh, looking forward to that review, but I do think that it needs some more teeth. Under Bill Smith's uh, time as mayor, the city underwent one and they, uh, they always had a financial target. Uh, so it wasn't enough that it aligned with the city's ways documents, the, the overall strategy and vision for the city. They also had to prioritize, and that's something I think this council needs to work on, is, is prioritizing uh, and not making everything a priority because then nothing's a priority. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, Sam, Judge. Ji, thank you, Kalmit Bhaji. Uh, as far as I understand, the question is that we have to city the city's income the resource. Uh, first of all, the overspending. Inu control Karna Chahida. Kosha Tija Dandia Jedi Apni City De Vich Jedi City Pele Plan Kachukiya we for example we Jedi lights in Apnia O Jedi Halogen Tom L E D Lagni Chaidini. U Jedi 
ਇੱਕ ਕੰਮ ਡਬਲ ਵਾਰ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਉੱਥੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਸੇਵ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕੁਝ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਨਵੀਂ ਕੰਸਟਰਕਸ਼ਨ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਵੀ ਚੱਲਦੀ ਹੈ ਕੁਝ ਇਨਸਪੈਕਸ਼ਨਾਂ ਇਦਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਸਿਟੀ ਦੇ ਇਨਸਪੈਕਟਰ ਨੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੇ ਟੈਕਸ ਪੇਅਰ ਦੀ ਜੇਬ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਅਮਾਊਂਟ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਬਾਹਰ ਇੰਜੀਨੀਅਰ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਸਿੰਪਲ ਜੋ ਆਪਣਾ ਪਲਾਟ ਪਲਾਨ ਬਣਾਉਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਥੋਂ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਉਹ ਇੰਜੀਨੀਅਰ ਵੀ ਕਰ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਟੈਕਸ ਪੇਅਰ ਦੀ ਮਨੀ ਸੇਵ ਹੋ ਸਕਦੀ ਹੈ ਨੰਬਰ 3 ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਹੁਣ ਨਵੀਂ ਕੰਸਟਰਕਸ਼ਨ ਚੱਲਦੀ ਹੈ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਐਨਵਾਇਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਗ੍ਰੀਨਰੀ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਆਪਣੇ ਬਾਹਰ ਲਾਉਣ ਨੂੰ ਪਾਣੀ ਲਾਉਣੇ ਆ ਆਪਾਂ ਟੈਪ ਦਾ ਪਾਣੀ ਲਾਉਣੇ ਆ ਜਦੋਂ ਟੈਪ ਦਾ ਪਾਣੀ ਵਰਤਦੇ ਆ ਉਹਦਾ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਵਰਤਣ ਦੇ ਤੇ ਡੋਲਣ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਦੋਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਪੈਸੇ ਲੱਗ ਰਿਹਾ ਸਾਰੇ ਨਵੇਂ ਡਿਵੀਜ਼ਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪੌਂਡਸ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੀਆਂ ਲੇਖਾਂ ਬਣੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਕੰਟੈਕਟਰ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਾਂ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਠੇਕਾ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਹੈ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਆਪਾਂ ਸੈਕੰਡਰੀ ਲਾਈਨ ਲਾਉਣੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਪੌਂਡ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਪੰਪ ਲਾ ਕੇ ਪਾਣੀ ਚੱਕ ਕੇ ਉਹ ਜਦੋਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਲਾਉਣ ਨੂੰ ਪਊਗਾ ਫ੍ਰੀ ਆਫ ਕਾਸਟ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਉਹਦੀ 200 ਫੀਟ ਆਪਾਂ ਲਾ ਲਓ ਫਰੰਟ ਆਫ ਆਪਣਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹਾਊਸ ਹੈ ਉਹਦੀ ਕਾਸਟ ਕਰਨੀ ਆ 800 ਜਾਂ 1000 ਡਾਲਰ ਉਹ 1000 ਡਾਲਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵਿਦਨ 1 ਈਅਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਉਹ ਕਾਸਟ ਹੈ ਪੇਡ ਆਫ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਉਹ ਇਦਾਂ ਦੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਨੇ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟ ਕਰਨੇ ਚਾਹੀਦੇ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਤਾਂ ਜੇ ਕੋਈ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸ ਵਾਲੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਨੂੰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਇਸ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਵਿਚਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਮੇਰਾ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸ ਆ ਰੋਜ਼ ਦੇਖਦਾ ਹਾਂ ਵੀ ਇਹ ਯਾਰ ਇਦਾਂ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਉਹ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਲਾ ਕੋਈ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਤੇ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਜੀ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਜੈ ਸ਼ਰਮਾ ਸਰ ਸਨਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸਵਾਲ ਸੀ ਮੈਂ ਸਮਝ ਗਿਆ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਟੈਕਸ ਕਿੱਟੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਉਹਦੇ ਚ ਬੜੋਤਰੀ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਕਰੀ ਜਾਏ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਤਾਂ ਡੋਮੈਸਟਿਕ ਟੈਕਸ ਹੈਗਾ ਉਹਦਾ ਕੰਟਰੀਬਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਐਜ਼ ਕੰਪੇਅਰ ਟੂ ਇੰਡਸਟਰੀਅਲ ਤੇ ਕਮਰਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਬਹੁਤ ਘੱਟ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਸਿਟੂ ਨੂੰ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਇੰਡਸਟਰੀਅਲਾਈਜੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਕਮਰਸ਼ੀਅਲਾਈਜੇਸ਼ਨ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਵਾਧਾ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਵੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਚਾਹੂੰਗਾ ਆਪਾਂ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਐਰ ਕੀ ਸਨੋ ਰਿਮੂਵਲ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਉਹਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਬਜਟ ਆ ਉਹ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਐਰ ਕੀ ਬਰਫ ਘੱਟ ਕਰਨ ਕਰਕੇ ਸਿਟੀ ਕੋਲੇ ਪੈਸਾ ਪਿਆ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਯੂਟਿਲਾਈਜ਼ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਏ ਔਰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸਿਟੀ ਦਾ ਐਨੂਅਲ ਆਪਰੇਸ਼ਨਲ ਬਜਟ ਹੈਗਾ ਉਹ 2.3 ਬਿਲੀਅਨ ਡਾਲਰ ਆ 2.3 ਬਿਲੀਅਨ ਡਾਲਰ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਸਾਡਾ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਕਨਸਰਨ ਹੈ ਟੈਕਸ ਪੇਅਰ ਦਾ ਕਨਸਰਨ ਹੈ ਉਹਦੀ ਟਰਾਂਸਪੇਰੈਂਸੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਉਹਦੀ ਅਕਾਊਂਟੇਬਿਲਟੀ ਵੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਕਾਉਂਸਲਰ ਦਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਅਹਿਮ ਰੋਲ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਸਾਰੀ ਟਰਾਂਸਪੇਰੈਂਸੀ ਲਈ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਉਹ ਚੰਗੇ ਕਦਮ ਚੱਕੇ ਜਾਣ ਔਰ ਡਾਈਵਰਸਿਫਿਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਇੰਡਸਟਰੀਅਲਾਈਜੇਸ਼ਨ ਤੇ ਕਮਰਸ਼ੀਅਲਾਈਜੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੋਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਬਹੁਤ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਜੀ ਹੁਣ ਸਟੀਵ ਟੂਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਸਟੀਵ ਜੀ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਖੁੱਲਾ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਆਈ ਗ੍ਰੀਸ एवरीबॉडी देयर बट um इट्स अप टू एमटोनियंस व्हाट दे रियली वांट टू डू इफ दे वांट द ट्रांस सिस्टम मूविंग इन टू मेलवुड्स श्योर ओके इफ यू पे मोर टैक्सेस फॉर दैट इफ दे डोंट वांट दैट राइट नाउ दैट्स वन अदर वे ऑफ डूइंग इट बट द प्रोग्राम्स वी डोंट यूज द प्रोग्राम्स वी डोंट यूज डिलीट देम दैट बेसिकली बट द टैक्स लाइक दिस इज 52% बेसिकली द एमटोनियंस पे इट्स अप टू एमटोनियंस व्हाट दे वांट यूज इट फॉर they want more policing they want this etc etc that you pay more for it it depends if you want a safer transit for going to say millwoods we want that right it's going to cost us money so we pay more for that thank, thank you. you
uh, city which uh, the income resources uh, it has previously previously been said that it's about 52 percent of the annual budget uh, spending um, and uh, this money comes from uh, comes from just uh, the proper <coughs> taxes. anyway um, the reason to fix it we we are given what we are given we need to do it's like any household we need to uh, deal with whatever income comes in the in the in the family, uh, we need to uh, get out the small city mentality. We need to uh, work collaboratively uh, with our uh, with our uh, surrounding communities, uh, whether it's uh, Saint Albert Shared Park, um, Ledoux, uh, Beaumont. We need to collaborate with them so that we are not working a little pieces at a time. We are working at the whole uh, whole uh, shot at, in one. Uh, whole figure in one shot. Anyway, then it comes to uh, again <coughs> I agree with the, uh, the transparency, accountability, and uh, also the spending that some of us uh, feel that uh, has been done in the past. But again, any project uh, <coughs> that we do, we need to maximize their use. Uh, we need to maximize the LRT. LRT right now, uh, out of uh, uh, our World 12, only less than 10% people use it. Uh, but we need to make sure that whatever projects we are building, they're not there for to prove the legacy of certain people. They are for the citizens of World 12 and the citizens of Edmonton. Thank you, Ji. Next question, Ji, may I put it in the next question? This is not related. Yes. Oh, yes. One question, then we will repeat the time. Yes, Ji. Uh, a question related to an area you had to give. Edmonton capital region currently has many, uh, has had many internal issues with the decision making and this has caused loss of opportunities in the past due to these issues. In the current state, what is the best solution for this issue? Capital region. One of the decision making both issues are key karongi unu fix karnavar stadi banga sabne gal kai ya odena related hai question capital region od vich bahut sare issues aap sochche unna nu milke vekhan nu te ode na bahut sari opportunities lose hoyi hai kyunki jadon reduce ch ko ko lagan lagdi apni industry te dimantar kitna no 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 assi utthe nahi lagan deni itthe aao sade ko jagah hai nahi eh jada issue hai na dimantar ne bahut sari opportunities lose kitiyan कैपिटल रीजन जेड़ा है ये बने ऐसी एडस्टर्मिक सब ने बढ़िया नू इन बूस की तासी जनरल चौने के एडिनियम एडिनियम प्रॉब्लम आ रही है सराउंडिंग कम्युनिटीज़ नार्ड एडमिटन दिया इनू कितना तुष्य हैंडल करोंगे ये तुष्य काउंसल बन दिया था कैपिटल रीजन के लिए कैटिगरी सिटीज़ आ रही है Last, uh, you know, council took a vote when they fired uh, the city manager and, uh, you know, they fired the city manager, but it was uh, council who should have been held accountable for the lack of uh, communication and all the waste uh, that was going on uh, with the city manager. Uh, the second part of the question is how to make the uh, decision process better, and that's Capital region. How to how to build consensus with the rest of the surrounding communities? That's that's very good. Yes. Um, so, for example, uh, we need to work together as a municipal with the other municipalities. So, when we buy things like road salt, we should be buying it in bulk with the other municipalities, and uh, using uh, for snow removal, we should be using each other's uh, snow removal gear, right? That way we save money. And uh, second thing is Edmonton's not getting its fair share. For example, on uh, 50th Street, uh, all the residents from uh, Beaumont use that road, and they contribute to the wear and tear of that road. So we need somebody strong. We need a counselor that can go to Beaumont and say, look, you're using our roads. You should also be contributing to the maintenance and repair of that road. Thank you. Now, Jashpal Sharma, sir. Mr. Butter, you asked me to ask better compatibility in the capital region. 
ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ ਫੀਲ ਕਰਦਾ ਕਿ ਇਹਦੇ ਚ ਇੱਕ ਤਾਂ ਇਫੈਕਟਿਵ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਕੋਆਰਡੀਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਆ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਚ ਰਿਪੋਰਟਿੰਗ ਵੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਹੈ ਕਿ 2 ਸਾਲ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਐਲਆਰਟੀ ਡਿਲੇ ਹੋਈ ਔਰ ਸਿਟੀ ਮੈਨੇਜਰ ਨੂੰ ਜੌਬ ਛੱਡਣੀ ਪਈ ਉਹ 2 ਸਾਲ ਚ ਜਿੰਨੀ ਵੀ ਰਿਪੋਰਟਿੰਗ ਸੀਗੀ ਉਹ ਵਰਬਲ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਡਾਕੂਮੈਂਟਡ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀਗੀ ਔਰ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ ਫੀਲ ਕਰਦਾ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਕੋਆਰਡੀਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਇੰਪਰੂਵ ਹੋ ਸਕਦੀ ਹੈ ਜਿਹਦੀ ਡਾਕੂਮੈਂਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਪ੍ਰੋਪਰ ਹੋਏ ਔਰ ਓਵਰਆਲ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਮਨੈਲਿਟੀਜ਼ ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ਬਾਕੀ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਕੰਟਰੀਜ਼ ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਸਟੈਬਲਿਸ਼ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਕਾਮਨ ਗੋਲਸ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆ ਉਹ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਆਣੇ ਚਾਹੀਦੇ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਅਰਨਦੀਪ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਫੋਰ ਸਾਬ ਦਟਸ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਐਡਸ ਔਨ ਟੂ ਵਾਟ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਸਪੀਕਿੰਗ ਅਰਲੀਅਰ ਵਿਦ ਅ ਟੈਕਸ ਬੇਸਡ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਦ ਸੰਗਤ ਸਾਬ ਆਸ ਅਸ ਦ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਸ ਆਫ ਦ ਕੈਪੀਟਲ ਰੀਜਨ ਆ ਕੈਨ ਬੀ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡਡ ਦ 20 ਮਿਊਨਿਸਪੈਲਿਟੀਜ਼ ਦ ਸਰਾਊਂਡ ਸਿਟੀ ਆਫ ਐਡਮਿੰਟਨ ਵੀ ਕੋਐਗਜ਼ਿਸਟ ਇਨ ਅ ਇਨ ਅ ਗ੍ਰੇਟਰ ਮੈਟਰੋਪੋਲਿਟਨ ਰੀਜਨ ਵਿਦ ਅਸ ਪੋਪੂਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਓਵਰ ਅ ਮਿਲੀਅਨ um is very important that we have a strong voice at the table uh for ward 12 we have two neighboring municipalities uh and, and several small municipalities nearby uh, county strathcona the duke county city of the duke beaumont uh, and and the residents there our friends and neighbors do come in to our city they work here they live here uh during the day but they go home at night and they sleep in their own municipality where they pay property tax on their homes uh in the next few years the capital region board will be coming up with a cost sharing agreement which will give uh, Edmontonians their fair share of property taxes from these surrounding municipalities that use our resources uh it's important for the councilor